Hello again, Chef Chip, and this is Smokehouse. Today we're in the waters, playing on the beach, so to speak. We've got some seafood for you today. We've got smoked scallops and smoked sea bass. We're gonna have a wonderful time with both of those today as we cook up two wonderful dishes and we get ready to get started. All right, so today we're gonna to play with sea bass and scallops. We're gonna do a smoked scallop with a prosciutto and spinach and a melon citrus chutney. Then we're gonna turn around and do a smoked sea bass that we're gonna serve with an olive and tomato bruschetta and white beans. We're gonna get started right away by getting our seafood into the smoker so that we can play while our seafood is in, getting that touch of smoke that we're after here today. Again, with seafood, peach wood, that's my preference. We're gonna run at about 240 degrees today. We'll start by getting our scallops ready. We've got some of the larger scallops today. We don't wanna play with the babies. We want some big ones. We want a little bite and texture to it. We're gonna drizzle a little olive oil. Then we're gonna sneak right over here. A little bit of our Delaware Bay that we use so often with our seafood. Our lemon pepper. Again, just a pinch of crushed red pepper. My go-to garlic. And this time we're gonna use a little bit of our sweet barbecue. It's a sweet and smoky barbecue rub. That's our house rub. We're gonna rub a little bit of that on there and we're gonna toss these around. We want a good coat. I suggest you keep yours on the bowl or on the plate. I get excited and like to throw things around in my kitchen. So we've got our scallops are ready to go to the smoker. We're gonna move from that to our sea bass. And we're gonna use the whole, this whole half loin here, serve it as a platter so we can just literally cut right off when we go to serve later today. Again, a little bit of olive oil. And rub that around the top of it here. We're gonna have some fun with this one too. We're gonna to give it a little bit of show as well. So we'll start with the rubs as well. The pepper, the garlic, just kind of flake it right up on there. Can't go wrong with it. A little bit of our Delaware Bay again, and a little bit of lemon pepper. Now we're gonna have a little bit of fun, just to make it a little bit different. We're gonna take some lemon, lime, and tomato slices. We're gonna decorate right down the top of it. I'm just gonna alternate as we go. Obviously, if you don't like one, you're welcome to leave it out. But we're gonna put a little bit of all three on there. Line them right up there on top. We're gonna grab a little bit of basil, do a little thin chaffinade on it. We slide this off the side. And again, real thin with this. And we're just gonna sprinkle that right in on top. And that's ready to run. So at this point, we're gonna get our seafood, our scallops, and our sea bass. We're gonna run them out, put them in the smoker. Again, peach wood, about 240 degrees. Scallops are only gonna take about 10 minutes. This sea bass is gonna take closer to 25, 30 minutes. Gonna to wanna to give it some time to get there and pull up. And it's gonna look beautiful and I'll be right back. All right, we've got our fish and scallops in the smoker. So now we're gonna to start to prepare our sauces and our side dishes. First thing I wanna get started are these giant white beans, also known as butter beans or giant lima beans, depending on where you're from and what grandma said they were called. We're gonna get these over here. I've got some water going, a little bit of wine. We're just gonna get some of those down in there. Again, my go-to, the garlic's gonna go in. Nice little uh, slot of garlic in there. A little bit of crushed red. And we're gonna turn this up. We're gonna let those start to cook down at this point. Why that's going. We're going to turn around and make an olive and tomato bruschetta as well. Take our bowl over here. I've got some heirloom grape tomatoes, which are nice. We'll throw those in. A little bit of diced red onion. We've got our black Kalamata olives. And I'm gonna chop these in half. Give them a quick little cut. You're welcome to use green if you prefer. There's so many wonderful olives out there. It's really about finding 
what works for your palate. I'm a Kalamata man myself, but there are plenty of them out there and they are fantastic, but I do not put them on my pizza. Don't know why. Just do not call for them on my pizza. But we've got these black Kalamatas here that we're gonna throw in there. Set that off out of the way for a minute. Again, we're gonna get a little more garlic. Sea salt. And just a little bit of black pepper. And then I'm gonna give just a splash of red vinegar. A little red wine vinegar in there. We're gonna stir that up. Feel free to add ch cheese if you're looking to go that route. Hurts nothing. Good Asiago would go well into this. Parm, that salt flavor profile would be really well with that. I've also done it with some fresh mozzarella chunks as well. I'm gonna let that sit and work itself out. Come over here, we'll stir our giant beans as they are starting to work and we're just gonna simmer them enough to get them tender. We're not looking to break them down and end up with ham and beans by any stretch. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our melon citrus topping that we're gonna put over our scallops. I've got right here, this is a melon puree, very simple. You can do it with your bullet, use your blender. It's a little bit of cantaloupe, honeydew. Blend it up, make it nice and soft, a little runny. We're gonna set that off to the side of the way. This is where it gets enjoyable. We're gonna have a little bit of champagne. Pour that in, let it bubble. We're gonna save the rest for later to eat with dinner or drink with dinner. I've got some fresh chopped melon as well so we can have a little bit of texture. And up here I've got a little bit of mint. We're gonna chop that up, fold that right in as well. Now, again, salt, pepper. I will break tradition and leave the garlic out. I know I put it in just about everything, but we'll leave it off of this one. We're gonna just let that mint start to break down and get that flavor profile into those melon bites. And that champagne will help break all that down as well. We've got all these working away. We're gonna come right back over here. Check on our beans that are cooking away right here. And they'll take a few minutes. Don't get excited, they're not gonna pop right away. Pour just a little bit of champagne in there. I want a little more liquid in it. All right, we're gonna come over and we're gonna check on our beans. These will take a few minutes, don't get too excited. They're not a quick boil and done, but they're gonna be well worth the wait. It's working, while those are going, we're gonna fire up this skillet here. And we're gonna saute our prosciutto and spinach that we're gonna serve our scallops over. We'll start with a little bit of olive oil. We'll bring the rest of those red onions back. And I've got some wonderful sweet onions as well that we're gonna throw right in there. Pull everything up here close because I'm getting ready to start throwing stuff everywhere. We're gonna have a wonderful time here in about two seconds getting all this put together. So we're starting to saute these onions right here. And like I said, we're gonna fold in the prosciutto. Here we've got some chopped prosciutto already. So with the curing of the prosciutto, we're not gonna add any extra salt for this one. We're not gonna need it, okay? So as we saute this down, we'll get the, all the salt we need will come right out of our prosciutto ham right there. We're gonna get everything we need right there. Let that work down. We're just about there with our beans. So while we're sauteing, we're gonna fold in Got some carrot and celery. I'm gonna fold right in there. Put a little bit of butter down in there. Start to cook that down right here. At this point, I wanna give it a little bit of black pepper. 
and a little bit of salt. Just let those cook, they're coming along. Onions and our prosciutto here. Get these just a little bit of, get them about of a translucent. We're gonna just about see through them and we're gonna start to fold in our baby spinach. At this point, I'm gonna also fold in why these are sauteing. We've got some asparagus tips that we've just chopped up there. We're gonna let those cook down inside there as well. And those will cook and provide just a little bit of pop or snap when we're biting a nice texture to go along with what we're doing here. You see our beans boiling away here, starting to reduce down. I'm sorry you can't smell all this, but I, I can tell you it's a very wonder, it's a very wonderful smell. Our beans are just about where we'd like to have them. So at this point, I'm gonna fold in, I've got some arugula. I'm gonna fold that in, work that in with our beans. Level those off, we're just gonna let them finish simmering down now for a few more minutes as we get ready. Got our prosciutto, our onions, asparagus. We're gonna fold some baby spinach into this. These going. And just like when we cook with greens, these again really, really dissipate. They fold down, broke down real well. So it takes a lot more than what you think to really get a good finished product. And we're gonna use these as the bed. This prosciutto and spinach is gonna be the bed for those scallops. So we wanna make sure we get enough in there that when we go to present here shortly, we got plenty of color down there. Green's gonna offset really well with those smoked scallops and that melon. Down. Another stir here on our beans. We're gonna add a little bit of butter in here, just to richen that up a little bit. Get that melted down. And as we get done with this, we're just about ready to go grab those scallops. They're looking really good. Our sea bass has still got a little while. We're gonna pull those scallops out here in just a minute. Let them rest for a second. And then we'll be ready to plate up and enjoy. All right, we're gonna turn around. We've got some sea bass and we've got some scallops that are ready to come out of that smoker. We're gonna pull them out. We're gonna get this plated up so that we can uh, get to sipping some champagne while we're eating some seafood here in just one minute. Let me reach back here, get the good stuff. Start with our scallops. There we go, got a beautiful color on them. Just barely popped on the edges. No big tears, so we know they're not overcooked. When they start to just completely crack, we know that we've overcooked those, so those look really nice. Right here's our spinach with our prosciutto and our onions, asparagus. We're gonna use these as a bed. Pour that right down in there. Give us a nice bed to put those scallops on. One, two, three, probably good for most. Four, five when you're feeding me. And what's, nothing wrong with a spare just in case they're that good. Can't go wrong with that at all. And of course we go back, we've got our melon chutney that we've got here, the mint, the champagne, the puree. And this, you're going to, we're gonna really like the accent that this pulls off the top. Very light, wonderful for summer, setting out on the beach. 
maybe a mojito or two. Can't go wrong, a little bit of the drizzle, the puree with that champagne in there. And we'll give it a little, a couple pieces of mint right on top. And we've got a wonderful summer dish right there. Smoked scallops, prosciutto, spinach bed with that citrus melon and champagne chutney and that looks good but we've got a whole family coming over tonight and we've got to feed them so we've got sea bass that we've been working on for quite a while we've got as my grandma called them butter beans giant limas we're gonna put these down right down in here we've been simmering those with carrots onions celery some arugula a nice little bed out of that we're gonna head back to smoker real quick we're gonna grab that sea bass take a look at that wonderful piece of seafood now the trick will be to get it from here to there in one piece and that is how I got my job. So there we go. You see the slivers, the tomatoes, the lemons, the limes right across the top, the nice basil, the crust from the rub that we put on earlier. All fits right in there. Looks really nice. We're gonna stuff a couple pieces of bruschetta right back here. I'm a fan of a sun-dried tomato. Bruschetta. A little drizzle. Olive oil over that as well and then because it just plain tastes better this way pinch of sea salt and then to finish it off we've got that olive and tomato bruschette we made earlier with a little bit of red wine vinegar we're just gonna put that right up on top drizzle right down the top and here we go, smoked sea bass. Wonderful olive tomato bruschetta and some giant limas or butter beans as grandma would tell me. And they don't, can't go wrong with that dish. They're gonna love that. We've got our scallops. And as I said, I've got most of a bottle of champagne to toast out here as we finish these off. We're gonna have a wonderful time this evening. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little trip down to the beach. Got some wonderful ideas here for your next party. Again, I recommend a mojito on this one. And I took care of that bottle of champagne. It's long gone at this point. But smoked sea bass, butter beans, olive and grape tapenade, smoked scallops with uh, baby spinach and prosciutto, and our melon citrus topping for a wonderful time. So we're going to get ready, go back. I've got some certified Hereford beef sitting around the corner that we're going to get ready to go to the ovens or the smokers and we're going to have a good time.